Hi, I'm Lori Ambler. I'm at Chicago Institute of Fine Finishes and we're going to have lots of fun today. We're working on a table that I've already primed black and we're using golds, uh, a blue, black and white. So it's going to be very dramatic um, and it's going to be gorgeous when we're done. So basically to get started, you take your gallons of epoxy and you put them in a warm bath. So you get your sink, you fill it with hot water, you put your epoxy in the hot water for about 10 minutes. And what that's going to do is it's going to let you pour it out a lot easier. So it moves in there. So I always mark my stir sticks with my cups because I like to recycle them all the time. So you have to be careful with what sticks you use. Uh, epoxy is a 50-50 blend. So I've marked my containers. So let's get started. A goes into A. So let's measure out our epoxy. See, it's quite thick, so this is why you want to put it in a warm bath. Because if it's warmer, it'll pour nicer. Or easier, I should say. All right, getting to my mark. Don't forget, this is very important that it's a 50-50 pour. So you want to make sure that you have the same in each cup. Okay. So then I take a larger cup and I always go with the thinner product first. Just makes it easier. to stir in the thicker one. Let's see, because this one's so goopy. Make sure you scrape all the little edges, get everything. Okay, so that's my A and B. This is my B container. And then take a stir stick and start stirring. And keep stirring and stirring and stirring. Don't worry about the bubbles because you're going to get it. As you can see real close, I don't know if you can see how foggy that is. That's normal. So you want to keep stirring for probably about five minutes. Make sure you get everything uh, mixed really well and it'll actually turn clear on you. So all this fog will go away. Don't worry about the bubbles. All we're doing is making sure we scrape all the edges, move your bucket, Make sure you scrape the bottom of the, paint, the pot here as well. Try not to mix too much of your epoxy at the same time because this stuff will heat up. Uh, if, it, if you mix like a gallon of this, you can very easily have it overheat, which is not good. It'll start smoking and uh, it's quite dangerous. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I did that once. <laughs> okay, so I spent 10 minutes stirring this pot and I stirred it pretty vigorously. So there's quite a lot of bubbles in here, um, but it's still clear. So don't worry about it. We're gonna pour the first layer down and we're just gonna manipulate it. So basically what this is, is a slip coat. Uh, I'm pouring this out so I can maneuver it around the table and use uh, float paint in it. So normally you can take a chip brush or a foam brush, but honestly, your hand's the best thing. So basically, this is all I'm going to do. All I want to do is cover this enough that I can use it as a slide. It doesn't have to be level because it'll level itself out. You just want to get it on the table. 
you just want a thin layer. Don't forget your sides. It's messy. So if you ever do this with your clients, tell them on the day that you go and sell this job, tell them up front, it's a very messy finish. And so they're prepared for that. As you can see, I'm just putting just enough to cover the table. That's all you need. The more epoxy you use, Right now on this finish, the more it will just roll right off the table. You just waste it. And I find that using my hands is the best tool. Hopefully I'll have enough material. Now you can use a squeegee as well. But I like to keep my products, my, uh, material cost down. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. How about the squeegee? Oh, so you can get a squeegee, use a squeegee on this, but you'll probably only use it once because of the fact that this epoxy is very hard to clean. So if you use a squeegee, it may be able to spread it a little better, but honestly, your hand's just as good. And it's cheaper. This is the fun part. I love this part. All right, so basically I'm gonna to have to make some more epoxy. Uh, you have a little open time to play with this, probably half hour. Uh, you will notice, notice when it starts setting up, it'll be um, really sticky. So just kind of work a little fast. You don't have to go crazy though. All right. I'll be back in a minute. All right, we're just about done with the epoxy. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit it with the, the uh, heat gun just to get some of the bubbles out. And I'm gonna mix my color into some of the epoxy so I can float it. That's where the fun part starts. So let me go get the heat gun. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so Help. when you get done pouring your epoxy, the best thing to do is take your gloves off before you touch your torch. Otherwise, this gets so gunked up with epoxy and you, it's hard to use. So let's get started. Ha. So all you're trying to do right now is pop some of the bubbles and to level out some of the epoxy. It's not the heat that pops the bubbles, it's the carbon monoxide that's in the, or the propane that's causing the bubbles to pop. have little pop, you know, little holes in it. Don't worry about that. It'll cover up on my next pour. All right. 
There's my slip coat. I got it before Kayla went in there. I was seeing photos of it with the videos on it. Okay, so basically I have mixed up the colors I'm using. I'm going to use black, white, gold, and blue. I've got some epoxy here that I mixed up. So all I'm going to do is pour it in here. And each one will be mixed up. Okay, I'm going to have to make some more epoxy because most of it's going to be white. So all I'm doing is pouring. I always want to leave a little extra epoxy out so I can use it to separate colors if I need to. So then I'm going to take this epoxy. I'm not going to totally stir it. I'm just going to create a little interest. Oop, this is going to be my black. That really made a solid black. Here's my gold. How yummy is that? And my blue. That's a pretty blue. All right, let's go have fun. Okay, so you have a very wet table. So you need to sit back and think about how you want your design. I never like anything straight down the middle. So I always like to be a little ornate. So basically you just pour your colors on however you want it. Make sure you go off the edge and pour a little bit more. I want to have a little bit coming in as well. And then off. Look at how that's already broken up. How milky that is, I guess. That's because I didn't stir my white solid. So now on the bottom of this container, I'm going to stir it so it's more of a solid color and lay it right down next to it. And then I'm gonna take some and put it right down the middle of this. Okay, so this is the fun part. You just get to create any of your designs any way you want. Um, this is only the first color. Give me a couple minutes, I'm gonna add some gold to it. And change up the pattern a little bit because this will all lay differently. So now, I got my gold. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm just gonna lay this down here. Right off the table, let me add a little bit more here. I'm going to join these two together. So that's two colors. Let me go get two more colors. I don't want a lot of blue. I just want a little bit of blue just because uh, that's how I roll. But I'm going to put a lot more on top of here. 
just so we can see it, but it's still going to be dark. So now I got black. I don't want a lot of black, but I do want to break some of this up just because I like the, the way the black looks. So you just play with it is all you're doing. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to break some of this up because I've got some clear left over and all I'm going to do is float it right inside here and it's going to break up the color. I'm liking that, but I'm not paint. This paint has a dip to it that to manipulate it some than others. There and start playing with it. Look over here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, done our second port and I put another coat on this one. It's all, you find something that you like with it. So now I'm, because I think it needs a little bit and basically up and use your lovely vein. On we go. Okay. So I hope how to vein. If you don't, you can get, you can look it up. It's literally just kind of, I just want trust here. Blue before I did the final. Don't forget. It's kind of, you know, it's pretty forgiving so when you want to play. It's happy. And then you're going to do a final cover up all these little pieces. You can see a little hole evenness. Take care of all of that. All done. If you have any questions about the processes, the techniques, or the products that were used, please give us a call at 630-653-2400 or visit us at foebykathy.com.